here today. It's so important that voters understand who they're voting for. I guess, uh, how do you tell somebody about yourself in a minute and a half? I guess I'll start out with, you know, I'm the oldest of six children. Uh, we grew up in a three-bedroom house in Grays Lake with one bathroom, so I, I know what that's like to, to be part of a large family and what that takes. But what I'd like to tell you is that I've lived here um, my entire life, but what got me involved in government was when my village, the village of Grays Lake, wanted to, um, sorry, got a little sign there, I didn't see what it said. Um, anyway, my village wanted to build 434 homes, excuse me, 4,034 homes on what is now the Rollins Savannah. I got involved, organized my community, and did what I could to make sure the Forest Preserve purchased the property. It's now the Rollins Savannah, the second largest Forest Preserve um, in our district. The infrastructure costs of that would have really, really hurt our community. Um, so, served as Hard to get it in. Served as a trustee in the village of Grays Lake. I'm currently on the Lake County Board in the Forest Preserve District. Over the last three years, I voted against our budget. I voted against our budget because although the overall budget was down $9 million because of a loss of income, we actually asked you, the property taxpayers, for $17.6 million more. I'm going to create jobs in Lake County with the FedEx facility um, and on ethics. I stood up for strong ethics reform, and I guess I'm going to get more time. So, anyway, um, thank you so much. Can answer the question? How did you come to the decision to run for office? Well, you know, it was about a six-month decision. Um, last spring, I really started to think about this and, and whether I was going to stand up and do something that I don't think most elected officials do, and then stand up and do the right thing. You know, on the county board, when I saw things that were wrong, I stood up for ethics reform. It may not have been popular, but it was the right thing to do. You know, on the county board, you know, I also uh, voted against a, an increasing budget because it was the right thing to do. But I think most importantly, you know, in the state of Illinois, and I think a lot of you know this, but four of our last eight governors have served jail time. We need honest, hard-working people that understand the complexities of the issues that are going to go down and do the job on behalf of all of us. I'm not going there to make it better for me. I'm not going down there to be there for 20 years. I'm going down there because I believe I'm the right person. I'm going to stand up and do the right thing, and I'm going to make the people of this district proud. And that's why I decided to go. Melinda Bush, the question is to you. What are your accomplishments for this community over the past five years? You know, over the past five years, I'm going to mainly talk about things that we've accomplished on the county board. You know, we've provided a lot of infrastructure improvements. While the state dollars really haven't been there to improve roads, the county's taken on a lot of that responsibility uh, with the quarter percent sales tax. So not only are we improving uh, the county highways, Washington, you know, the you see here locally. We're also moving forward to work on the Rollins Road and 83 issue. That's been a dangerous intersection for a very long time. We're moving forward on that. We're also expanding Washington Street and in Round Lake in particular, we'll be on 2013 expanding Washington and making sure it's safe for students to walk home from the high school, from the middle school. Those are things that are really important to this area. We need quality infrastructure and safe safe ways for our children to walk back and forth to school. I'm also very proud of the ethics reform that I feel I was instrumental in at a county level. When there were issues that came up, I fought against them, I stood against them, and we now have a stronger ethics ordinance. And just the other week, we were talking about what new county board members and forest preserve members will be required to do, and part of it is ethics training. And I believe that in today's environment, that elected officials need to be held accountable, and I'm proud that I made sure that those things stopped. For the question, what are your three most important goals to accomplish if elected? Melinda Bush. You know, they're not going to be all that different uh, just at the state level, but truly it's creating jobs in our economy. And the way that we're going to create jobs in the state of Illinois is by making sure that we have the infrastructure in place. Transportation, I think everybody sitting in this room knows how long we've been waiting for Route 53, knows how long we've been waiting to see the 120 bypass built, knows how long we have been sitting on these roads that are heavily congested. So we need somebody that's going to go down and really fight to make sure that we have the infrastructure provided so that as the economy continues to break, and thank goodness all the indicators are there that it's breaking, uh, it, we have the infrastructure in place. I think the other thing that's obviously huge in the state of Illinois is cutting our budget. And we have a spending and 
uh, income problem in the state of Illinois. We all know with this economy, the income has been down drastically, but it's going to take people that are willing to stand up and work on things like zero-based budgeting, having programs actually justify their existence so that we make sure that we're not overspending in some areas while underspending in other areas. You know, ethics reform. I mean, my God, four out of our last eight governors in jail. It's an embarrassing record. You know, frankly, we need ethics reform in the state of Illinois, and we need people that are willing to stand up regardless what party they're from and say, this is just wrong and I'm not going to stand up for it. And then we all know about pension reform. We have a problem in that we have an incredible unfunded um, amount in our pension debt. Um, and there are defined benefits. Sorry, I guess I'm going to close up. But we really do. We need people that are willing to sit at the table because nobody's really been sitting there. We need labor. We need Democrats. We need Republicans. Enough is enough. Thank you very much. Melinda Bush. You know, I've always believed that there's a time for everything in somebody's life. Sometimes it's not at the same time. But what I can tell you is I know that this is the right time for me to go to Springfield and I'm the right person for you to send to Springfield. I know it's my background of experience in both the private sector, the public sector. It's my background of standing up for ethics reform. It's the experience that I have in dealing with complex budgets and understanding how they work. And it's just who I am. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, you're right. It's time that we look at people. And we make sure that these are the people that have the backgrounds, the fortitude, and are willing to stand up and do the right things. You know, I think we're all, I know I am, I speak for myself, I'm tired of platitudes, I'm tired of promises. I just want somebody to tell me the truth. We're in tough economic times in the state of Illinois. It's getting better. We have mountains of debt. What we don't need are people that are going to stand up and tell you things to make you feel good, to tell you what, what it is you you know, I'm going to be doing for you for the next 10 years. Here's what I'm going to be doing for you. I'm going to be standing up like I'm standing up right now, and I'm going to stand up for you because I'm going, I'm going for 10 years. I'm not going for 20. I'm not going for 30. I'm a 56-year-old woman. I'm going to do the right thing, and we should have more people in this country that are willing to stand up. You asked me what was the hardest part of this decision or what was Could I go and do it? Would I really do it? And I'm asking for your vote because... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do what's right, and I'm going to make you proud of me. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here for today, truly, and thank you for putting this.